Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to another side LP of mine. It's been years in the making, but, well, it's finally here. Second and set to three! This time for Duran and Angela's path. The third and final LP, because I've already done, well, the other two paths. But anyway, this is a fan translation that I used for the previous two. And one of the interesting things about the game is that there's actually three paths you can take through the game, for those who did not watch either of the other two LPs. Really, there's the unique middle dungeon and the final dungeon that's unique with the final bosses, but a lot of the stuff, well, most of the stuff in between is mostly the same. So I'm going to be trying to streamline it better here. But yeah, I already did Kevin and Carly's path in the first LP. Then I also did Hawk and Lisa's path. Although I think I made Lisa the main character and Kevin the main character in their respective paths. So now we all we got left is Duran and Angela's path. So I'm actually going to start with Angela for a couple reasons. Uh, her The events from her intro happened before Duran's intro, so I want to do them in chronological order, but also because I'm not going to be using Angela on her own path. Really, the, the, one of the big reasons is because even on her own path, she doesn't really get a whole lot of unique dialogue. I have save states made in advance so I could show those instances to you, but I'm not going to be using her with Duran because they just don't really mesh well as far as like battle mechanics go and well I'll go over that more as we get into the game and by the way unlike the other two paths that we've LP'd my brother and I well my brother uh, he's not going to be around for most of the episodes though I'll try to bring him around for the unique content like the uh, the middle dungeon and the final dungeon, and unlike the other two paths, we have an optional super boss to fight on Duran and Angela's path only. And I will be showing that off when we get there. So, it looks like hard times have hit Altena. Well, let's see what's going on. Nuts. Again... I hate it when that happens. Not as much of a pain in the ass as invisible explosives, but, well, you take what you can get. Why is it forbidden? I don't think they ever explain that, now that I think about it. They just don't want you there, I guess. Whoever they is. Ah. Well, maybe you could barter, or negotiate, or haggle, or whatever. Or we could just use brute force method. Why not? But don't you already have a glorious empire? She doesn't. She wasn't doing the talking there. I think. Well, I'll just tell you, it was the guy on the right there in the red. So, let's see what's going on here. I would think you would get more, or stronger, as a magician the older you get. Worked for Tella. Well, I guess he forgot some spells, but he picked it back up eventually. What do you mean? What does that have anything to do with it? I thought you just said some magic words and you set people on fire. Worked in my last LP of the game. I don't want to know what she's doing there. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to know. Ha ha. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm skipping magic class. Hey, okay, how's it going? Yeah, we... Cut, cut it short. Ha ha. Well, for a princess of a magic 
empress or whatever, she doesn't seem to be that good at magic, it would seem. Well, you got plenty of people around. You're a princess. Everyone worships you. I mean, otherwise, what's the point of being a princess if there's no one to worship you? Huh. That was weird. Well, anyway, let's uh, take a look around. See, find something to do while we're, uh, we can't really do much right now. Oh. Oh. Nuts. Maybe you should get a recharge or something. Make a new one? Cut down some trees for the fire or something? Nuts. And by the way, oh, on the intros, I'm going to be talking to most, if not all, of the NPCs. But for the actual, most of the LP itself, since I've already done that in the other two LPs... I'm not going to do that again here, except for, like, sequence triggers. So that way, you know, we can just move on. And most of them don't really have that much interesting to say anyway. Let's see, can I go down this way? Let's see, yeah, this is the way I want to go. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay, yeah, sounds like a plan. Does it restore my HP and MP too? No. No, it does not. But I do want to make a sit well... I don't need to do it right now, it's just the intro, but that's how you save. Yeah, you just walk up to the statue, press the A button, boom, you can save your game. But you don't get an HP MP refill from that thing. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay, well screw that. But yeah, we don't have access to the entire castle, or the town, for that matter. So yeah, there's going to be some... I don't know, black mages, whatever they are, and yeah, they're going to be blocking our path to certain parts of the castle. We'll be able to do stuff with that later, but not right now. Oh, thanks, I guess. I mean, I am kind of one of the top three people in charge around this place, I would think. Oh, no, someone's blocking that one, too. Yeah, all the sorceresses that are blocking doorways and stuff, they all say the same thing. Well, except these ones, but, you know. That's, okay, yeah, we can't get, even get into the town yet. That is one thing that's kind of interesting about this path. Let me see, nope, not in here. But yeah, uh, Duran and Angela's path is the only time you get access to the town of Altena. You can't access them on any of the other paths if they're not your main character. Oh, I suppose I should have made it obvious, but... Uh, you, the path that you're on is determined by your main character. Whoever the other two characters are has no influence over that. But yeah, they're just practicing magic spells that... I'm... well, I'm, I'm gonna have mind up, but... Well, you'll see what characters I'm gonna be using. Not gonna be Angela, though, I'll tell you that much. Let's see, anything down here? Nothing! I thought there was one around here that did have something in it. I'll have to find it somewhere. Ah! Well, at least they still got mana, for now, at least. Well, let's see. There was a treasure around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I knew it was around here any anyway, somewhere. But anyway, we get an item, and just like Secret Armada, you uh, go into your ring menu here, and you can use items. And, well, it does what it says it does. So, yeah, those are going to be our basic healing items for quite some time, because unlike Kevin's path, I'm not going to have a magic healer in this path, so that will make things quite a bit more difficult for me. Well, let's see what we got up here. Okay, how's it going? Ah, for a second there, I thought she said El Nard. That was a Japanese name for the Seventh Saga, right? Something like that? Weird name for a game, but I guess it's just a made-up word or something. Oh! Holy cow! 
Do you have any healers around here? I don't think they do. Yeah, um, if I kind of glossed over it earlier, Corin was the red guy that we that was talking to, but with the queen and all that stuff, to all the troops and all that. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, in order to progress with the plot, you have to talk to this lady, and then Victor will be around, and then you can start doing stuff. Uh, how do I get out of here? I think it's the... No, not that door. Gotta kind of go back the way I came, the throne room. Well, if you tried to go into the throne room before, uh, one of those sorceresses would have been blocking your path. But now that we talked to the other lady, and what we gotta do is talk to Victor, and then we'll be able to get through all that stuff. So yeah, sequence triggers, a little tricky here, but not too bad. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. You should see Chicago. Holy cow! Man, those winners are brutal. I'm used to it, though. Maybe I'll get lucky and the Cubs will be able to win this year. No. No, of course not. Don't get your hopes up, H.C. Bailey. Okay, so once you talk to the sorceress, then you talk to Victor, you come up here, this one will move out of the way, and then we can move on. Hooray! So yeah, basically, not quite Star Traffic Syndrome, but... Well, talking to everyone, you'll eventually hit the sequence trigger and all that. All of them? That seems like a really bad idea. It would, I would think it'd be insane to fight a war on two fronts, let alone three. Holy cow. Ah, oh, okay. Sounds like a good idea. Well, we've got nothing better to do. You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh. Well, yeah, desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Oh. Well, maybe you can get one of the troops. They all kind of look alike. What the? Nuts. But I don't have any magical power. What good would that do? Whoa, what's going on? Did she just kill herself? Doesn't exactly sound like the best plan. Ah, I guess she just teleported out of there or something. Maybe you should uh, put on more clothes with the weather around here. Yeah, they'd kind of kill you if you did that, so. By the way, with the items here, uh, they're it, just like the previous two LPs, I'm mostly going to ban the Bazel Black Market items because they make the game way too easy. But I'm actually going to use one particular item you can buy there, which will help against the optional super boss. So we'll do that when we get to it, but just something to keep in mind. I'm going to try and keep each path, or each LP, relatively unique. Now, we got our first enemies here, whatever these guys are. What I'm doing is I'm trying to stay on the left side of the screen, so that way, whichever guy is the one at the bottom there, he can't, he'll get kind of stuck there, and then he won't be able to hit me from there until I'm ready to fight him. By the way, let's see, I'll go over the controls on the next screen. Get out of there! Sometimes you just kind of get stuck there. Well, you didn't do a good job of stabbing me with that. Let's see, come on. Okay, gotcha. By the way, I wouldn't use my candy on at this point. If you get low on HP, you'll be able to progress with the plot anyway. Even if you die, but, well, you'll see. Now, in order to attack the enemies, I want to kind of get in an open area. Press the A button, you attack them. But you can't just mash the A button to attack them faster over and over again. You kind of have to wait for your weapon to get ready. 
And unlike Secret of Mana, you don't have that 100% meter at the bottom to tell you when your weapon is ready. So every time you attack with the A button, you'll see Angela raise her staff or something, which indicates that you're ready to attack again. So don't mash, it won't really help you that much. And there's also that meter at the bottom there that as I attack the enemies, it'll turn green or blue and then green once I'm ready. Uh, for each hit you deal to the enemies, whoa. Okay, come on, getting there. Maybe I will use the candy after all. They are pretty cheap, and I would like to show off something. Okay. Kind of have to do it. Yeah, I screwed up a bit there in the intro. Hey, get out of the way! Okay, there we are. Sort of. So yeah, once, the pa once that bar at the bottom there turns green, you can press the B button and do a level 1 tech, which will deal, well, just more damage than your other techs. So, and I'll go over how that all works more later. But anyway, well, we got a few paths to choose from, but from here, it doesn't really matter because no matter what you do, stuff happens here. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you left. How do you even teleport out of there? You have no magic abilities. Well, I guess she has MP, but that didn't seem to really do a whole lot for you. Oh, well. And she... Oh, she doesn't die. Okay. Uh, never mind, then. Okay, well, let's see what we got around here. How, how did I get here, anyway? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's what they were... Uh, that one lady was talking about. There's, like, not a lot of goods coming from that town or something. Maybe you can find Goku to play with you. Nah. No, not in this game, viewers. Well, someone's got to keep her occupied. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Oh, well, maybe you just need... Big guy needs big food. Or big lady or something. I don't know. Well, let's see what we can do around here. Yeah, we can't explore the town of Altena, but we can explore the Snow City here. So, let's take a look around, see what we got. Oh, yeah, when you fight random enemies, well, they're not random, but when you fight them, and sometimes you can win a seed from them. Like you saw, I won that little herb thing or whatever. Oh, okay. But yeah, I won that uh, pee, pee grass there. I got that in a chest there. Sometimes they'll just drop seeds. And if you go to the inn over here, let's see, we got a little pot here that you could plant a seed in and it'll sprout instantly and you'll get some item. So I don't want to rest up here because well, I already did that, but I do want to save because there is one thing I want to show you guys that's quite unique compared to the other three paths or the other two paths. Five, three, seven. Okay, let's see. Now, this is the path, or wait a minute, I think there's a sign there. Let me see, what is this place? What is that? Oh. For some reason, I thought that was going to tell me the name of the area below. Oh, okay. Now, if you're playing on um, Angela's intro normally, you do not want to go to this path, because we got level 17, level 18 enemies here. So, yeah, you go down here, it's it's not going to end well for you. I wonder what would happen if I tried to go to the, uh, the Monastone Cave, if I could somehow survive here, because I would probably get one shot from any enemy if they actually attacked me. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! Yeah, sooner or later, they're gonna get ya. Unlike Secret of Mana, you can't just move around really, really fast on the battlefield. So, it's almost more like a turn-based JRPG, except, well, you do have some more freedom of movement, so you have some limited ability to evade attacks, but not really a whole lot. So it's really more of an RPG than an action game. Well, let's see what else we can find around here. I don't think there's any... 
uh, other treasure around here. I could be wrong. Well, nuts. But yeah, if you're on any of the other paths, you wouldn't be able to come here for a while anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, those... Or that shop, yeah. It's, well, it's just a shop. There's nothing else there. Oh, yeah, I kind of tried going there, but the monsters kicked my ass. Oh, nuts. I wonder where they came from. Let's see. Well, we got a little bar here. Maybe they got some useful information on how I can get out of here. Sounds like a plan. Got a nice fireplace and everything. Oh, yeah, I suppose. I didn't really see any pranks going on. Just mostly giving Jose a hard time. Oh, yeah, we already talked to you. Let's see, we got a weapon shop there, but anything that's at the equipment shops here, we I don't think we can buy anything, can we? I think they just talk to you or something. Oh, we can go here, but yeah, they don't sell any better equipment than we already start with. So, yeah, I don't know why they put that there, but, well, there it is. Maybe it's just like a plot thing where it's like, oh yeah, this is how we got our initial equipment or something. Oh, there is a, a wanted poster? Really? I never saw that. Maybe it's on like the back wall or something. Maybe it's this thing? Oh, yeah, that's the currency of the game. Luck, Luke, I think it's uh, an abbreviation for Lucre or something? I don't know. Whatever. It's a made-up currency, as far as I can tell. So, I'll be honest, viewers, I am not very familiar with currencies other than what we have in my own country. But anyway. Ah. Sucks to be you, then, I guess. Hey, how's it going? Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention... If you hold down the B button, you can dash around if you're not in combat. So, I, I just do it so instinctively, I didn't really think to make anything of it. Oh. Is that nearby? Hmm. Just like the first game, huh? Well, I guess you tell everyone that, huh? Yeah, probably not. Let's get out of here instead. But anyway, yeah, in order to wrap up the intro, you gotta talk to that fortune teller over there. So yeah, as you could tell, when I was fighting those fish guys or whatever, yeah, it, uh, Angela is not very physically strong. In fact, she's one of the weakest characters physically other than Carly. But Carly at least gets some help. Angela, not so much. She's really a pure mage. And she's not even that good on her own path. I mean, she does have her uses, but... Well, you'll see. I'll go over that when we get to the unique stuff. But yeah, one of the reasons why I'm actually not going to use Angela on her own path, or one of the other reasons, is because Angela and Duran, they don't really mesh well together in a party. I mean, Angela is pure magic, and Duran is pr pure physical, pretty much. And with Seiken Densetsu 3, you really want your party of three characters to more so complement each other, or what's the word? Synergy. It, you want to focus more on synergy, not just like, okay, you got a tank, your DPS, your glass cannon, then you have a white mage and a black mage and so on. No, no. You want your party to have one focus character and then have two support characters to them. So Angela and Duran are what we call focus characters. You kind of have to build your party around them. And I've already done that with Angela on Lisa's path. So this time I'm going to be using Duran and building my party around him. But unlike the other two paths, I'm not going to have a magic healer in the early game. And I'm not going to have any offensive magic either to kill enemies before they can actually get to me. 
So, this is mostly going to be brute force early on. And I'll go over that when we actually start the Rand's Path. I'm probably not going to make every episode this long. But for the intro, I figured, you know, let's do one big episode for each of the intros. And then we'll have our regular, I don't know, 15, 20 minute episodes or something. And that should probably work. Well, who are these guys? Lex Luger? No. No, not in this game. But yeah, you wouldn't really know much about the Beast Kingdom or whatever these beast men are doing. Unless you're on Kevin's path or... Carly's path, I guess, a little too. But, yeah, so there's not a whole lot we can do here. But how is the invasion from Alfena going to be going? Find out next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3 with Duran. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!